Hi guys, welcome to our kids time. I'm Pastor Lucy and I'm the pastor at St. Paul Lutheran Church in Beloit, Wisconsin. I know some of you go to St. Paul or you did before COVID and hopefully you will again. We've been reading stories this summer out of this story Bible, out of the book of Genesis, which tells us about some of the earliest people in the Bible. And we've been hearing about Abraham and his son and grandkids and great grandkids. And today we're going to continue the story that we started last week about a man named Joseph. Joseph's dad was Jacob and Jacob had 12 sons, 12. And all those boys, he liked Joseph the best. He had a favorite and he didn't hide it. He gave Joseph special gifts like this beautiful robe that he didn't give to any of the other brothers. And that made them jealous. Sometimes Joseph behaved kind of arrogantly and that made them mad too. And so one day they decided to throw Joseph in a pit and sell him to slave traders. And that's what they did. And that's where we pick up our story today because you see Joseph stayed a slave for a long time, but he kept believing that God was with him and he kept trusting God and working hard. And eventually God rescued him. But first, we're going to hear about some of the things that happened to him in between. Have you ever had a dream that you remembered after you woke up? Maybe you wondered, why did I have that dream? What did that mean? Well, Joseph was really good at helping people understand their dreams. When Joseph's brothers threw him into the empty well, he thought, what did I do to deserve this? And then it got even worse when they sold him to the traders. In Egypt, the traders sold Joseph to Potiphar, the assistant to Pharaoh. Pharaoh was like the king of Egypt. Joseph worked hard. He became Potiphar's assistant and he was in charge of Potiphar's whole house. Even though he was far away from family, Joseph knew God was with him. One day, Potiphar's wife said to Joseph, I'm so lonely. Will you be my boyfriend? Joseph did not think that was a good idea. He said, no. Potiphar's wife got angry and she told Potiphar that Joseph had hurt her, even though he hadn't. And Potiphar had Joseph thrown in jail. In jail, Joseph was lonely but he knew that God was with him. The jailer noticed how smart Joseph was and he gave him jobs to help around the jail. And then eventually he became the assistant to the jailer. And finally, Joseph was in charge of all the other prisoners. One day, a head baker and a winemaker made Pharaoh angry. They were sent to jail. And that night, each of them had a dream. They didn't know what their dreams meant. Joseph told them, dreams belong to God. Tell me your dreams. Joseph told the winemaker that his dream meant that he would be out of jail soon. Please remember me when they take you out of jail and help get me out of jail, Joseph said to him. When the winemaker got out of jail, he forgot all about Joseph. Two years later, Pharaoh had a dream and he asked all the smartest people in Egypt what it might, meant, might, might mean, but no one could tell him what the dream meant. Then, two years later, the winemaker remembered about Joseph. He told Pharaoh about him and Pharaoh sent for Joseph. He said, in my dream, I was standing next to the Nile River. Suddenly, seven fat cows came out of the river. They were eating grass when seven skinny, sick-looking cows came out of the river. 
the skinny cows walked to the fat cows and ate them in one bite. And they still looked skinny. There's a picture. What Pharaoh's dream might have looked like. Pharaoh, said Joseph, God is telling you what will happen. For seven years, the crops and animals in Egypt will be healthy and there will be plenty of food. But after seven years, all the crops and animals will die and there will be no food. Pharaoh was amazed at how Joseph helped him understand his dream. He decided to give Joseph a very special and important job. Joseph became Pharaoh's assistant. His job was to help Egypt store up food so that they would have enough to eat in the seven years when nothing would grow. Why do you think that Joseph could understand dreams when other people couldn't? Was there something special about Joseph? I wonder. Close your eyes and try to remember a dream that you've had. What do you see? What do you hear? Tell your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or brother or sister about it. Draw me a picture and tell me about it. What do you think your dream might mean? Who could you ask to help you understand it? Sometimes God sends us dreams and they tell us how we're feeling or what's going on inside of us and they can help us. And always God sends us help. Even when it seems like we're totally alone, God is there to help us. And a lot of the time he sends us help by sending us other people. Just like he sent Joseph to help others, and eventually he sent others to help Joseph. So remember, God is always with you, even when you're loneliest. And draw me a picture of your dream. What do you think? I hope you have a great week and come back next week to hear about what happened next in Joseph's life. Okay, bye-bye.